Hey, what's up, guys? Gilbert Guy here, and I know I haven't made a video in a little while. And today, I'm going to do a bunch of videos on how to get all of the emulators. Now, I know I've already covered GBA, which is a Game Boy Advance for the iPhone and iPod Touch. And today is going to be SNES, which is Super Nintendo. And so let's get that covered. Here we go. Alright. All right. Now you can see I have it right there, Super Nintendo, and then I have Sega right there, and then I have, um, GP for, GP for iPhone, which is Game Boy Color, but they don't add the C, so, yep. Alright, and my other ones are in games, that file right there. Alright, so, now, if you want to learn how to get S -E -N -E -S -N -E -S, on your iPhone iPod Touch, you're watching the right video. And I will be showing you how to get the ROMs, a bunch of games and all the ROMs, right on your iPod Touch. Yes, you are going to have to type in some source. One source. For all of them, actually. Alright, so I know I didn't tell you, but just open up Cydia, like you always do. Alright, go to search. Type in S N E S. And yes. Okay. Say sure. Um, or you can type in for iPhone. Doesn't matter though. It doesn't come up. You won't have all these games unless you've already typed in the ROMs. But don't worry about that. So I'm just gonna scroll. S. Yeah. There it is. All right. So there it is. S N E S N E S for the iPhone. Alright, so click on that and then install that. Once you are done, it's gonna wait a minute. Hey guys. Alright, so once you are done, we to say return to Cydia. Go to manage right here. Go to sources. And now you're gonna go to let's make sure. Okay. And then you're gonna go to I mean not go to you're gonna click edit. All right, so you're gonna t click edit and then you're gonna say add. Now, oh, hold on, sorry, but I just need to see the um, edit add. Still can't see it. Hold on, sorry about this, guys. I just need to make sure they don't have it written down anywhere. So, all right, that should be good. Alright, now you're gonna add, type in, this will all be in the video description. I, I, I'm just gonna say the letters. I, R, O, M, R, E, P, O, dot com, which is right there. Slash, capital C. Server. Capital C, it has to be capital Y D I A forward slash S N E S. Okay, so once you have that typed in, it should verify the code and stuff, and then and then it'll bring you right back to here, say done, and then you should get this right here. IROM Super, I mean, Super NES, right there. Don't click on that. You can if you want to. It takes longer. I just go to sections right here. Scroll down. You should have this right here. IROM and SNES. Okay. Alright. And now you're going to get a bunch and a bunch of ROMs. Like 89, I think, is what they have right now. So, a bunch. There's some... Um, Smash Tennis, SimCity, SimCity, um, so yeah. Alright, so, now, once you've downloaded a couple that you like, just go home. You should have this logo right here. And then just click on that. And, there you go, it's got all your ROMs loaded up. 
and you did not have to use a computer so that's rocks and I'm going to show you a game and there this was what it oh hold on, let me just, okay and this is pretty cool I got itchy and scratchy from the Simpsons that should be under I if you want that game but and if you're wondering what my why is mine different on the layout skin, you can change the skins right here and options right down here. You got frame counter, speed hacks, auto save, scaling skin. All right, so now you can go to browse, recent saves, options. So when you do save, I will show you that button too. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. What should I show you? We'll show you itchy and scratchy. Alright, so the sound. The sound is okay. Sometimes it'll go like, you know, like that breaking up sound. Okay, but that that's just my skin format. If you're just wondering, there's itchy and scratchy right there. And right there, if you hit this button. I don't know if it's colored if you keep the original one, but if you hit this um, weird button right here, it'll take you back home and I'll show you right there. And then let's say save game state, save currently loaded state, save to new file, don't save. I usually click on save state to new file, okay? So I'm going to say don't save. And we're just going to go into my saved one. And if you do save, it should be right here. I didn't save one actually. But yeah, okay. So we're just gonna say portrait sound. Just let that load up. Not to be. This game is actually really fun. I do you recommend it? Playing back then. Dang, it's hard to do I'm almost out of time, so this might be quick. Alright, so click start or whatever it tells you to do. And these graphics are amazing. I mean, just amazing. Alright. Alright, so there I am in the mouse. You don't get to choose a character in this screen. There you go. There's his little kitty friend. Oh, he squashed me. But that is basically it. It is really fun. I was playing it all night last night when I was supposed to be going to sleep for school. And I stayed up for like 12 o'clock playing that. That itchy and scratchy game. And I actually got a huge score. So, um, tune in and I will have some more, um, emulators coming up. See you guys.